extracellular molecules, such as nucleotides, lipids, short peptides or proteins, are released by cells and bind to receptors on the other cells, which are important mediators in cell-to-cell -cell communications in multicellular organisms. In addition to single molecules, eukaryotic cells can also release membrane vesicles into extracellular environment, such as microvesicles, aptotic blebs and exosomes. Exosomes represent a specific subtype of secreted membrane vesicles, showing a characteristic cup-shaped or well-delimited round morphology when observed by electron microscopy. They are small membrane vesicles with a diameter of 30 tilde 100 nanometers. Derived from the endosomal compartments called multivesicular bodies, MVBs, exosomes contain diverse nucleic acids, MRNAs and MRNAs, lipids, peptides and proteins derived from the parent cells. Therefore, exosomes are thought to play an important role in intercellular communications, mediating numerous physiological processes, beyond immunology to neurobiology, stem cell and tumor biology, of the recipient cells. These features have prompted extensive research to exploit them as a source of biomarkers for several pathologies, such as inflammatory diseases, autoimmune disorders, neurodegenerative disorders and cancer. Exosomes are generally considered as an intermediate compartment between the plasma membrane, where endocytosis takes place, and lysosomes, where degradation occurs. They are formed inside the secreting cells and endosomal compartments MVBs, which is coordinated by the endosomal sorting complex required for transport, escort. Escort complex is composed of approximately 30 proteins that assemble into four complexes, namely escort 0, escort I, escort 2 and escort 3. Escort complex is usually recruited to the cytosolic side of the endosomal membrane for the sorting of selected protein to intraluminal vesicles, ILVs, which requires ubiquitination of the cytosolic tail of endocytosed receptors. The escort 0 complex recognizes and sequesters ubiquitinated transmembrane proteins in the endosomal membrane, whereas the escort I binds to the ubiquitinated cargo proteins and activates the escort 2 complex. Escort I and 2 complexes, therefore, appear to be responsible for membrane deformation into buds with sorted cargo. The activation of escort 2 further initiates the oligomerization and the formation of the escort 3 components, which is subsequently disassembled by an ATPase, driving vesicle scission. Exosome secretion is regulated by MVB fusion with the plasma membrane, where Rab proteins play an essential role in intracellular vesicle transport between different compartments. Rab proteins belong to a family of small GT posses which is composed of more than 60 members. Each of the Rab proteins is preferentially associated with one intracellular compartment, involving in either vesicle budding, mobility through interaction with the cytoskeleton, or tethering to the membrane of an acceptor compartment. The final step of exosome secretion is known to possibly involves a specific combination of soluble and ethylmolamide sensitive factor attachment protein receptors. Vesicular snares, which are localized on MVBs, interact with target snares that are localized on the intracellular side of the plasma membrane, to form a membrane bridging snare complex, responsible for membrane fusion it has also been reported that calcium influx can induce exosome release in mast cells, human erythroleukemia cells cultured cortical neurons and oligodendrocytes. Exosomes can transfer molecules from one cell to another via membrane vesicle trafficking, thereby influencing the immune system, such as dendritic cells and B cells, and may play a functional role in mediating adaptive immune responses to pathogens and tumors. Therefore, scientists that are actively researching the role that exosomes may play in cell-to-cell -cell signaling, often hypothesize that delivery of their cargo RNA molecules can explain biological effects. For example, mRNA in exosomes has been suggested to affect protein production in the recipient cell. However, another study has suggested that MRNAs in exosomes secreted by mesenchymal stem cells are predominantly pre- and not mature MRNAs. Because the authors of the study did not find RNA-induced silencing complex-associated proteins in these exosomes, they suggested that only the pre-MRNAs but not the mature MRNAs in MSC exosomes have the potential to be biologically active in the recipient cells. The isolation and detection of exosomes has proven to be complicated. Due to the complexity of body fluids, physical separation of exosomes from cells and similar sized particles is challenging. Isolation of exosomes using differential ultracentrifugation results in co-isolation of protein and other contaminants and incomplete separation of vesicles from lipoproteins. Combining ultracentrifugation with microfiltration or a gradient can improve purity. 
single-step isolation of extracellular vesicles by size exclusion chromatography has been demonstrated to provide greater efficiency for recovering intact vesicles over centrifugation, although a size-based technique alone will not be able to distinguish exosomes from other vesicle types. To isolate a pure population of exosomes a combination of techniques is necessary, based on both physical, for example size, density, and biochemical parameters, for example presence-slash-absence of certain proteins involved in their biogenesis. Since the diameter of exosomes is typically below 100 nanometers and because they have a low refractive index, exosomes are below the detection range of many currently used techniques. A number of miniaturized systems, exploiting nanotechnology and microfluidics, have been developed to expedite exosome analyzes. These new systems include a micromer device, a nanoplasmonic chip, and a magnetoelectrochemical sensor for protein profiling, and an integrated fluidic cartridge for RNA detection. Flow cytometry is an optical method to detect exosomes in suspension. Nevertheless, the applicability of flow cytometry to detect single exosomes is still inadequate due to limited sensitivity and potential measurement artifacts such as swarm detection. In addition, other methods to detect single exosomes are atomic force microscopy, nanoparticle tracking analysis, Raman microspectroscopy, tunable resistive pulse sensing, and transmission electron microscopy. Dendritic cell-derived exosomes express MHCI, MHC2, and CAS stimulatory molecules and have been proven to be able to induce and enhance antigen-specific T-cell responses in vivo. Exosomes can also be released into urine by the kidneys, and their detection might serve as a diagnostic tool. For example, urinary exosomes may be useful as treatment response markers in prostate cancer. In addition, exosomes secreted from tumor cells can deliver signals to surrounding cells and have been shown to regulate myofibroblast differentiation. In melanoma, tumor-derived vesicles can enter lymphatics and interact with subcapsular sinus macrophages and B cells and lymph nodes. A recent investigation showed that exosome release positively correlates with the invasiveness of ovarian cancer. Exosomes released from tumors into the blood may also have diagnostic potential. Exosomes are remarkably stable in bodily fluids strengthening their utility as reservoirs for disease biomarkers. Patient blood samples stored in biorepositories can be used for biomarker analysis as colorectal cancer cell-derived exosomes spiked into blood plasma could be recovered after 90 days of storage at various temperatures. Exosomes, a subgroup of extracellular vesicles, EVs, have been recognized as important mediators of long-distance intercellular communication and are involved in a diverse range of biological processes. Composed of cellular membranes with multiple adhesive proteins on their surface, exosomes are known to specialize in cell-cell communications and provide an exclusive approach for the delivery of various therapeutic agents to target cells. For example, researchers used exosomes as a vehicle for the delivery of cancer drug Paclitaxel. They placed the drug inside exosomes derived from white blood cells, which were then injected into mice with drug-resistant lung cancer. Importantly, incorporation of paclitaxel into exosomes increased cytotoxicity more than 50 times as a result of nearly complete co-localization of airway-delivered exosomes with lung cancer cells. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load our website www.creativediagnostics.com